All right, guys, it is uh, January 6, 2019. I don't know what to say about what I am about to say to you. I do believe that our world has gone over the edge. Uh, people are bonkers. Um, mainstream media, researchers, scientists, they're, they're coming out with anything and everything. But what they are coming out with, that we are hearing crickets. Oh, crickets. The Cuban cricket crisis. No joke. No shit. Here I go. A researcher, University of California, Berkeley, has done a study and, yeah, our U.S. Embassy personnel who were attacked in Cuba by a sonic weapon and they had an awful lot of symptoms that a lot of you are uh, experiencing, but they had brain trauma, uh, brain damage, some lost hearing. They had a full range of symptoms. And this re researcher is actually stating that it was crickets, crickets, crickets. How, what, what do you, how do you even, how, how are you guys doing in this world that we are living in? All right, let me just preface everything else that I'm going to say with the buzzing right now is very, very loud. Even as I am talking, I can't um, tune it out. I'm hearing from a lot of you who are also talking about how the buzzing or however you describe your well, tinnitus, um, whether it's uh, a clicking sound or a chirping sound or a buzzing, um, a hissing sound, that you too are noticing that it's gotten very loud. The pitch is changing. And two, T-O-O, -O, many of you are expressing having symptoms that I certainly can relate to. More frequent headaches, more dizziness, vertigo episodes, and your emotions feeling very, very depressed and unable to get out of it. Uh, lack of concentration, you know, the cognitive uh, difficulties that you are experiencing. Well, I will say that I relate, I identify with all of you, and it is really, you know, life, I feel, has just become a marathon, you know, it, an endless marathon of just getting through, getting through, getting through, and that is not how life should be. Okay, well, it's crickets, guys, it's crickets. What, how do you respond to this idiocy? A new study indicates that the culprit behind this debacle, debacle in, in Havana is in fact a cricket. This is according to Alexander Stubbs, a scientist. This is a scientist in the Department of Integrative Biology and Museum of Vertebrae Zoology at the University of California, Berkeley. The mysterious noise is actually the echoing call of the Indies short-tailed cricket. And she's going to, uh, or he, is going to present his findings. This week at the 2019 annual meeting of the Society for Integrative and Comparative Biology in Tampa, Florida. Oh my God. Wow. How do you, how do you, I don't even know what the words are. I don't know how to uh, give an intelligent response to this or any response to it. But what is scary is that people can come out with this. They can present these findings. What There's going to be an audience of scientists and they're just going to what? Accept this? Are you... All right. Well, that's what we live today. Okay. Science. You want to talk how science has 
become something like a cartoon joke. It's a cartoon. It, it's, uh, is this part of the infantilization of not just Americans, but Western people? Oh, okay, it's a cricket. And Santa Claus is real. The Easter Bunny is real. And a cricket gave our U.S. Embassy personnel brain damage. And the cricket caused some of them to lose hearing and all of the other symptoms that they were experiencing. Cricket. Okay. Um, I want to say something more about that, I, I, but I can't figure out what to say. So, let's go on. I want to show you some good news. Lawsuit contests. Constitutionality of the 1996 Telecom Act, which doesn't allow opposing cell towers due to health risks. All right. Um, New Mexico. Do we all understand that our representatives, oh, you know, those people in Congress that are supposed to be representing us, allowed past legislation that has allowed the telecommunications industry to carte blanche, put up those cell towers wherever they want, on your property, uh, in your community, wherever they want, and too bad for you, you can't oppose that. That's your representatives doing this. Yes, the installation of cell towers and other wireless infrastructure based on health and environmental concerns near schools, medical facilities, residential areas, or anywhere else. So, the first lawsuit contesting the constitutionality of this 20-plus-year-old legislation was filed on December 21 in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Thank you for the person who filed that. Um, Do you, did you hear what I just read? Okay. The Telecommunications Act of 1996 was passed by our representatives. And that legislation said we cannot oppose the installation of cell towers and other wireless infrastructure based on health and environmental concerns. Have you seen on YouTube those town hall meetings where somebody is allowed to speak for three minutes and they are not allowed to bring up health concerns related to Wi-Fi. Why? Why can't we bring up health concerns? If there, if this, if this technology is safe, why did they make a law saying we can't bring up health concerns? Mm, because it's not safe. Okay. Well, good for this person who filed this lawsuit. Federal Communications Commission is supposed to protect the public by regulating the telecommunications industry. They don't protect you. They even legislate your silence. You have to be silent. You can't say anything. Free country? First Amendment? Free speech? Your representatives in Congress? They take an oath to protect the Constitution and they don't? How long has this been going on? Oh, a very, 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 very long time. Decades and decades. In fact, pretty much my entire life. But it goes on because the American people allow it. We've allowed it. We've allowed our representatives to represent corporations, to represent industry over our own best interests. We've allowed it. 
elected officials, government employees seem to have been captured by the telecom industry and big pharma and all industry. Um, so even despite widespread protests that allows for the force, uh, this law that allows for the forced installation of harmful infrastructure and devices for campaigns like race for 5G, smart cities, internet of things, and smart meters. You know, if we could unite, we could change things. We could change things. If we united with outrage, well, we could change things. Tarrytown, New York residents, state and local officials, congratulations for teaming up to demand the removal of a cell tower installed three months ago just feet away from a public housing complex's playground. Outrage. It works. It works. But we socially engineer one another, right? Don't get angry. Uh, be calm, uh, don't be negative. Um, well, that doesn't work. So, yes, uh, these, the residents of Tarrytown band together and didn't let up. There was so much outrage by the folks in town those MTA guys are probably getting triple time, uh, triple overtime to take it down. It works. Banding together works. Getting active in your own community works. With other people, it works. It works. But something's wrong with a lot of Americans who just sit back. You've got to fight how you feel. If it's these frequencies that have caused an apathy, a lack of motivation, uh, a depression, whatever it is, you've got to fight. You've got, yeah, this is a time that demands far more from us than ever before. But here in Maryland, um, Annapolis, uh, there's a new elected school board. Now, are all school boards, are they the members elected or are some appointed? I don't know that, and I don't know if it changes, you know, from state to state. But if they are elected, wow, could parents have a huge um, positive, you know, effect? These school board members... People voted for them because one of their promises was to keep cell phone towers off school property. And boy, if they don't hold to that promise, I hope all of the parents in this Anne Arundel, Arundel County, you better hold them to their promise. But it's interesting here, you know, schools, they're addressing the bullying. They have anti-bullying campaigns. Get rid of those cell towers on the school property. Get rid of the Wi-Fi and maybe take your children off of psychiatric medications because Wi-Fi, cell phone towers, uh, psychiatric medications, cause aggression, agitation, uh, violence, homicidal ideation, anger. So the Wi-Fi that these kids are sitting in may very well be one of the causes to this bullying that apparently, you know, look, bullied. I don't, you know, I would not classify myself as a kid who got bullied. I was certainly made fun of um, because of my height and, um, yeah, lack of brain power in, in 
in school. Um, there is clearly more bullying going on today than ever before based on based on articles that I read um, well you gotta look at their environment they go home to homes that are dangerous environments now with the Wi-Fi smart meters and all these gadgets they're uh, sitting around not getting what they need uh, from their parents, you know, they're all now. You you go into one of these like restaurants, McDonald's. So when I would go into McDonald's to have get a cup of coffee, I could see families sitting together. Nobody was engaged in conversation. Everyone was looking at their cell phone. People need to change their behavior certainly the behavior that is causing an awful lot of discord in our society. So, um, and please, you know, complacency. Okay. You know, I thought, all right, this lawsuit, a lot I could imagine are saying, oh, thank God. Thank God. Okay. So maybe this, this person who has filed the lawsuit, um, can get somewhere for all of us, you all need to be filing lawsuits. You all need to be active and take action. You know, this is, this environment that we are living in is completely, it is toxic 24-7. And many, many people are experiencing these, the effects. And when you when you have kind of paid attention throughout the years and you know that our our population is getting sicker and sicker and sicker and you know that a lot of it is due to the Wi-Fi saturation now with this 5G you know that we are we're being destroyed we're being destroyed. Our health is being destroyed and we're being killed off. This is no joke. And if you want to render life meaningless, then take no action. Nothing could render life more meaningless than, you know, people who have the knowledge and just are not doing anything. My God, you don't have to be a parent. Are you working in the school, in public schools? Are you a teacher? You know, get something started. And if you're a teacher and you know about the dangers of this Wi-Fi and that's where you're working and you're not doing anything, oh man, I don't understand that. But here, you know, the international appeal, stop 5G on Earth and in space, I got a comment from a subscriber who asked me to do a video on this and I did it you know I don't know how long ago asking people to come over and sign this and this was you know the video that I posted earlier the UN staff member addressing the UN Secretary General you know talking about how dangerous Wi-Fi is and that it should be removed and 5G needs to be halted, that the rollout, to halt the rollout. Um, she mentions this appeal. And you know, underneath I just wrote in the description box, you know, please sign and circulate this appeal. Well, a couple of months ago I did the same thing. Clearly, you know, it's not getting much traction, not getting much signatures. 26,740 signatories since December 4. You know, a full month, and that's all, 26,000. And that's not a big jump from when I posted the video. And it's very upsetting to see this because what you're seeing is a whole lot of people, you know, that you're reaching are not doing anything. And yeah. You know, look, guys, do you have children? Do you have children? 
Do you care about your own health and your family's health? Do you have a reason to live? If you have a reason to live, that reason should be motivating you, you know, to want to live longer. But, you know, look, I'll link below to the petition again. Timelines of sickness and death documented after cell towers were installed. People are dying. You know, the firefighters, right? The International Association of Firefighters opposed and they were successful because they are a powerful lobbying team. They opposed the use of cell towers and antennas near fire stations since 2004. Why? Because they're dangerous. Because the studies that they had conducted showed that these firefighters who were working and sleeping near uh, in the stations with these towers, the study conducted found that they experienced neurological symptoms. Um, the symptoms included slowed reaction time, lack of focus, lack of impulse control, severe headaches, anesthesia-like sleep, sleep deprivation, depression, tremors. They got them removed. They were a force. You know, and we can be a force. You can find, you know, people in your own communities to hook up with and be that force. So the study, you know, ruling out, you know, everything else, they concluded that the only plausible explanation was the RF radiation exposure. So here are some videos, but scientists for Wired Tech, um, they thoroughly documented what was happening to residents in a particular area of Sebastopol, California. And I'm going to get to that in one moment, but you can watch the video here. And when you come across these uh, articles in activist post, you might want to scroll all the way down because many articles are leaving uh, end notes and more resources. Um, here, you know, look, for 20 years, insurance companies have refused to cover wireless radiation exposure risks. Why? If it's safe, why? because they knew that it was not safe. They knew prior to the cell phone rollout, the wireless, uh, I mean, the telecommunications industry. I've posted videos on this. Uh, the telecommunications industry had done studies and they found that the use of cell phones caused cancer. They hid that. They buried it. Then they rolled out the cell phones. Congress never asked for any safety testing. Your Congress, those representatives, they did not ask for any safety testing of cell phones. So the telecommunications industry, their insurance companies knew. They knew that we can't insure this risk because it's going to be a risk like tobacco smoking. It's going to be a risk that is going to bankrupt insurance companies. So they said, no, we don't insure for products that are wireless because they are dangerous and producing a lot of the illness, the disease, the syndromes that are escalating, the Alzheimer's, the Parkinson's, the neurological diseases. <laughs> Unbelievable that we're doing this. Unbelievable that we can't get anywhere. Unbelievable. I just don't. People still voting for these people in Washington, D.C. 
that do not every single time a new Congress comes in, you know, these new representatives, two years, every friggin' two years, and the Senate every six years, and they do nothing for the American people. Nothing. They pass legislation that is written by the corporations, written by the industries. Yeah, they don't even write the friggin' legislation. The lobbyists hand it to them. Say, the lobbyists then say, introduce this. You think it's the representatives that are introducing the legislation? No. Lobbyists write it. U.S. government is supposed to protect the public and the environment from big tech. Really? Uh, every day their refusal to act on our behalf becomes more ridiculous and heartbreaking. Ridiculous? That's not a word that should be used anymore. This is not ridiculous. This is freaking evil. What is happening here? Representatives, hey, telecommunications, do whatever the hell you want. Hey, vaccine industry, yeah, we'll pass legislation. <laughs> that makes you immune from liability because their vaccines are so safe. Everything's so safe. So why pass legislation? Making these corporations, these, these you know, big pharma and all of them, uh, it's like, I can't believe that we've allowed this. We have allowed this, but here are all the other resources for you. Uh, here, Sebastopol, California. So this uh, scientist for wired technology, I will link below to everything here. They have 4G and 5G. No, it's not just 5G. Everybody is screaming about the dangers of 5G. Our population already is gone from 4G. Oh, and then 3G, 2G, 1G. None of it is safe. None of it. The 5G, well, the the it's just going to be an explosion of disease and sickness and illness and syndromes and people with chronic physical pain and experiencing severe headaches and fibromyalgia. Yeah, we'll we'll just you'll see that exponentially uh, increase and um Alzheimer's, dementia, and all of it is going to increase in cancer. Um, you know, but 5G is really, that is the military, it's the military prison grid for all of us. The active denial system being rolled out through the country. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I have a playlist on 5G. Go for it. But the active denial system, you know, our military has been using 5G millimeter waves in other countries. How do they use it? They use it to keep people from entering communities or leaving particular neighborhoods. It's an invisible wall. Wow, that wall. Well, we have the active denial system. Put up that 5G wall cross the border. You don't need, you don't need that physical barrier. Anyway, um, this is what was happening in this area, in this neighborhood. Um, Petaluma Avenue, Walker Avenue, death and illness. So, I bet if you know, there were studies done, the close proximity of these cell towers, how people were, how their health was, I bet we would come up with an awful lot of uh, similarities to what was found right here. What was found? All right. Um, oh, all of my highlighting came off. No, no, okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five people died. The ages, mid-40s. 
uh, 60s, 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 20s, diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, and heart issues, found unconscious in his apartment. Osteoporosis that was, that progressed to such a point she experienced continual excruciating pain, loss of mobility, died in her apartment, diabetes. All of this, by the way, they were diagnosed after they moved there. So, illness. All right. Uh, and this was all diagnosed after they moved into this area with that cell, one cell tower. So, a uh, resident in her 50s came down with severe migraines and vertigo. 80s developed heart issues after living five years, electrical problems with her heart. Um, a woman in her 70s, headaches, dizziness, fatigue, memory fog, inability to sleep through the night, and bone cartilage problems. A woman in her 40s developed breast cancer. A woman in her 70s, horrible sleep problems, cartilage, bone issues, and experiences memory loss. A woman in her 30s, diagnosed with cancer. Um, let's see experiencing severe stomach disorder, uh, diagnosed as cancer, sleep issues, headaches, extreme fatigue. Her eight-year-old has morning headaches, tinnitus, her husband headaches after 15 minutes and needs to leave their upstairs bedroom. So some of these people have smart meters and some of these people, due to their proximity, to this cell tower emitting dangerous microwaves. Uh, these are the symptoms that they're experiencing. A woman in her 20s, um, after living there for a couple of years, a cyst was removed from her ovary at age 16. Um, her son coded three times after his birth and had three surgeries for breathing issues. Um, then she developed ovarian cancer, had surgery, which removed a 15-pound tumor from her ovary. Uh, woman in her 20s, debilitating fatigue after living there for four years. The cumulative effect. Cumulative. That means if you're feeling fine right now and you're just rolling your eyes and thinking, you know, people are nut jobs talking about the dangers of this uh, wireless world that we're living in. Cumulative means that you may be asymptomatic now, but tomorrow you might not be. Um, a, a woman's son in his mid-teens, bouts of dizziness, severe headaches, fatigue, stomach aches, anxiety. Woman in her 60s was diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, ongoing episodes of vertigo, migraines, tinnitus. Her daughter, now in her 20s, experiencing headaches and fatigue. A woman in her 50s, two skin cancer surgeries. Her daughter, in her early teens, diagnosed with Hashimoto's disease, um, which I did a video on, and I can't remember exactly what, but there was a cluster of kids coming down with Hashimoto's disease, and I believe it was in San Diego, California. Um, but this is all in Sebastopol. Did I pronounce that right? Um, here, woman in her 70s, Alzheimer's, her husband, severe dementia. If you want to see some studies, take a just click on the links below. Compilation of research studies on cell tower, radi uh, cell tower radiation and health, um, and the, the thousands and thousands of studies, thousands of studies. How do we break through the lying mainstream media? 
the lying telecommunications industry. How do we break through these lies? Lies, uh, they're, you know, they take hold. Truth doesn't take hold. I can't believe this world that has manifested. But you will read, you know, but the reason why I'm sharing this with you is please bookmark, please bookmark or print out so that when you go to your town council members before the town council meeting where they're going to say, oh, sorry, you cannot talk about uh, the health or environmental adverse effects of this technology, you go to those town council members, you plop down hard copies of these studies, and you demand, you demand that your town council members listen to you because they're sitting in those elevated, you know, seats at your meetings, and they're supposed to be representing you. And if they don't represent you, then you need to get together with other community members and get rid of them. Um, you can't just wait for the next, you know, vote because they're actually creating, manifesting for you more and more dangers in your own community. Um, so here are a lot of studies, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of studies. And on this site, which is um, Devra, oh God, all right, well, I cannot believe that I can't even remember her name. Davis, Deborah Davis. All right, now this is no lightweight. This woman, scientist, um, yeah, no lightweight. And it's unfortunate because we have highly respected, renowned scientists, doctors from all over the world. They, having received prestigious awards, and they're just not listened to now. Now they're considered to be, you know, the crazy nut job. So they're not. They're not. Th this world has really turned into some... Well, let's just say there's a a uh, rapid decline of uh, morality, moral character, and unfortunately, the majority, the majority of the world's people, by initiative, by own initiative, this is a renowned um, study, and. I'm sorry, I keep coming down with these coughing fits. Um, the research summaries. All you have to do is click on, well, here are the research summaries from 1990 to 2017. And then further down the list are newer studies. So this, the first one contains thousands. I think they reviewed over 2,000 studies. You're, you're hearing uh, that it, what mainstream media is reporting are those studies coming out of the telecommunications industry or scientists who have conflicts of interest. These are the independent scientists. I will link below. Here, microwave radiation, a ticking time bomb. Ignorant and corrupt governments endorse industries irradiation of an innocent and defenseless public. And this is a chapter in a book. Um, and I will link below to EMF Warriors. A great site, has a lot of very good information. Uh, EMF Basic Training. Um, recent news and findings, uh, beneficial electromagnetic frequencies. Yes, they can. <laughs> we can be using these frequencies for our benefit. 
Well, a lot of the elite psychopathic nut jobs do use these electromagnetic frequencies for their benefit, but they're used as a weapon against us. Um, so you can read and you know, just click on uh, any of these um, windows. You know, measuring EMFs, resources for mitigating EMFs, where the future is heading, 5G, health and EMFs, more studies, um, articles, uh, new parents, pregnancy, babies and toddlers. God can't, you know, parents, please protect your children. They didn't asked to come into this world, you brought them into the world, so it is your job to protect their health. But I go into a supermarket and I see these kids sitting in these supermarket carts and they're sitting and they're staring at cell phones and the cell phones are not even a foot away. They're like eight inches from toddlers. And yeah, I have said to the parent, please do the research on how dangerous the frequencies that are emitted from that cell phone, especially for your child who has a developing brain, a very soft skull. These frequencies penetrate their brain far more easily, rapidly, and they cross the blood-brain barrier and does anybody even care? So, ugh, chronobiology and sleep impacts. Medical and biological relations, brain blood barrier, deeper signs. And I'll end with this. Um, the recent news and findings articles. Guys, look, um, having read comments and emails, I know that a lot of you are hurting. I know that a lot of you are really struggling now. And this is so... This, this would be so easy to just got, get rid of if people would just say, fine, let's go back to hardwiring all of this. But there are too many people who have become addicted who believe that, you know, I'm not going to get rid of my Wi-Fi, even if it's affecting my children. I get to just walk around my house and I don't have wires following me. I get to use my laptop anywhere because I have Wi-Fi. This is so sick. It's it's like, you know, how do you address anything that's going on today? It's kind of like, you know, all right, it's a cricket. It's a cricket. How do you address anything? How do you address the dangerous insanity that has taken place in uh, Americans on the whole it's they're dangerous yeah I keep going back to that um, that Soviet defector who of course I can't remember his name but he talked about he was at the uh, the communist takeover of the United Nations and how you know they were working it uh, they were um, they had infiltrated every institution in the United States, uh, the universities, um, and you know, one of he said back in the eighties, he said it's it's already happened. The American people have been so demoralized and degraded that they don't even know how to act in their own best interest. Well, that is what we are living. Somehow, they need to be slapped out of their demoralized, degraded, um, 
and they're just not caring about anything, even their own health or their children's health. Somehow they need to be slapped silly. I don't know. You, you, you know, when, when people are in shock or um, in acting in ways that you know, um, you need to bring them back into reality, what do we do? You slap them. My God, these people are killing all of us. All links are below.